Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here as we begin a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as a Troll War. And a few things to start off though, I've already set up everything pretty much for us, we're led by Betty for Army. We have a historical focuses, or no historical focuses on, the mods are using the State Chester Tool Mod, Playerless Peace Conferences, Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, as well as Colored Events, but the first holotape. As he felt his mind slipping away, the man who had become the first created several recordings to guide himself. The first of which was to remind him of his morals, what had made him the man he was, and what he held closest to his heart. Whatever it is, so it, it is what it is. But I have played as a troll one before, but that was before they actually got an update, so I believe this is different than what I played previously with the first hollow tape. Your name is Andrew Shaw. You were born on April 24th, 2043. You have a family, two proud sons who you promised to protect, a wife who you must see again. It's why you became a soldier, Andrew, to protect them. You are raised in Portland. That is your home. When you're ready, you have to go back. You have to face what happened. Find your legacy. They were in a vault, Andrew. Your children might have grandchildren or some other legacy. Find them. Find yourself. You can't forget this, Andrew. You have to remember what matters. What you must do. I must find my old family. Protect my new family. I must return home. I kind of like that idea. I kind of want to go home. I kind of want to find my old family, though, because I like stability, so I must find my old family. The second holotape. Driven into deeper desperation by his growing mental instability. Uh, the violence he felt growing in his heart. The man that would become the first left a second recording. A guiding message for himself as he saw more and more people flocking to his impromptu abode. He was a soldier still. It was his duty and honor to protect these people. And he would be gosh darned if he forgot that. <clears throat> and here are the research that we're doing. We actually have three research slots even though we have minus 50% research speed. The second holo tape, monster, you're becoming a monster even now. I can feel it in the back of my mind. The numbing sensation is growing so hard to focus. Even now, they are emerging from the woodworks. The few who survive the fall of the old world. Some drink the water, some bathe in it, desperate to become like you, to become powerful enough to survive. You must make something for them. Protect something to protect them. A fortress, a city, an army. I don't know. Protect them. You are the first of our kind. You must lead. I like the little picture they have here. Very reminiscent of the troll war or the super mutant armies. Yeah, very super mutant like. Must build a fortress, kind of like that. I must build a city. I must build an army. Now, obviously, build an army seems pretty good. We can always get more waters elsewhere, so that's kind of okay. I like the civvies. I like the two arms workshops, because actually, we're lacking, you know, basic melee weaponry already, because I'm trying to make two divisions at a time. We only have so much manpower, of course, too. And actually, I've not checked out the division template for this. Eh, 14 combat width, not bad, no armor. And of course, we have the woods monsters, which are behemoths. Which do have a spot of armor on them, so. I must build a fortress, I must build an army. Well, I do want to go visit my old family. i got to find my old family. So, I must have an army to find that family. The third holotape. The third recording was made long after the second, following an attack against the Warren by a number of proto-raiders. Ghouls and desperate souls seeking what little else could be taken. Ah. <sighs> Oh, working. oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh, Richard Speed. They weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for them. They came in the night post guard. They overwhelmed the perimeter. They killed your people. Not again. Don't let this happen again. Find the strongest among your people with guns and grit. One, two, step. Like the old days. Like the army. Teach them how to fight. Teach them how to protect the Warren. Big brother shall guard the gate. We shall strike with tooth and claw. Thunder shall rain from the walls of the Warren. I kind of like big brother. I think I might have chosen that one last time. I can't remember... But Big Brother, we have Big Brothers here. Big, big, big behemoth brothers. The final holotape. The final holotape is a busted thing, stolen from a passerby who fell victim to the war during a time of desperation for the gravity of their situation and barren reproduction had settled in. And we also have Cave Troll Warren, so we get less division speed. More weekly manpower, which is pretty nice. 4% recruitable population, 20% stability, less attack, less research speed, and more max entrenchment. Well, it could be better. But the fourth holotape. Your people are starving. You cannot reproduce. You have little here. You must survive. You must take. Go and find what you need. Resources, slaves, warriors, take what you need to survive. It's the way of the world now. Darwinism. Do you remember that? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the strongest. There are none stronger than you. Remember that. Believe in it. And you will survive. Your people will survive. We shall take their resources. We shall take their people. I shall take their warriors. I got all the slaves. I'll be honest, I kind of do want slaves, so... Uh, I mean, the biggest thing, really, for us would probably be scrap. So, actually, I probably will go with scrap, so... We shall take our resources. Seek out the wizard. 
Oh, search for the elusive wizard, yes, please. The super mutants of the Warren are an isolated people, yet none are more isolated than the wizard, an age-old nightkin living atop the volcanic isle in the middle of FEV-filled crater lake. Perhaps the wizard would have ideas on how we could inspire hope in the super mutant remnants. And we have national spirits, of course. War band without a home. Kind of sucks. It is what it is. What else do we have around here? Ice jaw, huh? Old soldier, which is not bad. Last less damage garrisons on better supply consumption. Organization recovery, it's not bad. Hunter of the Warren. Uh, that's okay. Five percent more breakthrough for infantry equipment, it's not bad. Uh, dynamite crazy eyes or terrorist the menace. Outside of warfare research speed seems probably like the right one to go because that's the way we pretty much gotta go. Memories of ages. We get more political power. Ooh, super mutant labor, labor. Now, okay, so I had to look up my old campaign, because I have, like I said earlier, played as a troll warren once, and I did go down the bone snarl path, so he's out. So whenever, I, I do maybe plan on playing the troll warren like two more times, just because I haven't tried three of these other people yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, and actually, cause of the trouble, I haven't tried this off screen at all before I started recording this, so Mariposa Reborn. Oh yeah, I like that. But for, for now, a little bit of lag, maybe I need to get a better mouse. Let's see, Guardians of the Wild, Betty Bones, Ron Putman, Warriors of the Wild. Well, let's see, what do we want? Betty's Might, Bone Snarl, which we're not, not going to do. Um, I kind of like the Daily Compliance, but I'm thinking I might go with Pittman's Cunning. But, I want to do this stuff, but I'm going to leave this up to you. Should we do Super Mutant Labor? or making slaves of the unworthy, and ultimately leading to Masters of Mankind, or Eaters of Mankind. Should we slave them? Enslave them? Or should we just go om nom 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 towards all those degenerate humans? Tasty. Memories of Ages, though. The memories of Ages past still linger in the mind of the first, troubling his dreams and inspiring him in the depths of pitched battle. Ancient military tactics hammered into the mind of a young man who no longer knows his own name. As he remembers these things, our hope grows even greater. So after this first research is done, I will probably go ahead and just do outside of warfare because that is probably one of the reasons why that tree exists, because it's for us. Before we do that though, economic advisors, settlement builder, scavenger, built tough, uh, built tough. Ooh, peon tusk hell, huh? More population. Shepherd, slave master, not bad. Monsters in the woods. Experienced soldiers lost at minus 20%. Behemoth production cost goes down by minus 30%. That is something you never see. Uh, or very, very rarely see. Uh, I'm just looking for anyone that might give us more political power. There it is, mother. Okay, I'm so I've, I've got to do that every time just because it gives you like 0.2 more political power and that's really worth it for the long term in my opinion. Anything for major businesses? It doesn't look like it. So yeah, there's no special mother we're using here. But let's go ahead and get some more army XP. Outside of warfare, thank you. Seeking, oh, that's what we need it for. Seeking out the wizard. The wizard is an elusive figure, hiding shortly after his mutation under the master's army decades ago. He now hides in his little alcove, having grown senile with old age as his strength fades and wastes away. Spending days and nights reading tomes of the world's legends, so perhaps you might know something useful to help the Warren out of the recent troubles they have been in. We must seek him out. Oh, that's 75 days. Wow. Wow. Weapons of the past. Guardians of the wild. Um, hmm. The Bane of Man. Division attack and planning speed. Even more division attack. I like that. Call of the Giants. Mutated canoes. Tribal Daka. More Daka. Common ballistic weaponry. Power. Oh, I think I want to go with pow the powwow. I think I've got to do that. Weapons of the past. Lead, powder, the thundering sound of death. These are the weapons of old, those that have determined the fate of uncountable lives throughout history. They are within our capacity to create, and more so, something that our warriors covet and trust. It is natural for a super mutant to desire such weaponry. In which we will begin to get more stability. Even though, maybe we should have chosen war support, more war support earlier on, just because you can always get a little bit more stability until you get like 80%, so... Uh, let's do that now since oh, it's already minus 50% research speed it doesn't even matter how much more less we get it doesn't even matter for the research speed I mean come on oh 230 days still oh my goodness but tribal daca we have inca we've captured countless firearms and captives capable of producing them throughout our conquest and it's time to put them to work arming our warriors the warren can only get so far with cudgels and hammers after all and wow this construction speed it's really blazing Blazing, blazing, blazing. After tribal DACA, though. More DACA? Uh, I mean, it's not bad. But common ballistic weaponry. 
I think just in my own personal feeling here, I've got to go with a powwow. A powered melee, me mega metal mutants. Who needs Daka? If we build better armor, we can defend against any wimpy bullet. Super mutants are supreme. We just can't die. Which I think is tremendous. Tremendous? Tre tremendous. Ah, uh, three days left. I, I love these shorter focuses. You know, it's just, it's so much nicer than like seven day focuses. Oh my goodness. And actually, we're already on every cap of the army. Wow. Also, our volunteers, cave trolls. So leaving the caves, that would help our speed. We get more population. We lose quite a bit of stability. But we get our re more research, which is actually really nice. Roaming army is not too bad. Power of the trolls. We lose quite a bit of stability, but you get 20% recruitable population. Not too bad if I do say so myself. All right, Bone Snarl. I'm going to go with this guy, Pittman. And you are a sav- You'll be a savage leader. Aw, oh, yeah. Well, you might as get that one so you can do savage leader. Thank you very much. All right, up next, let's see. Economic advisor. We definitely distrust outsiders. Let's see. What do we want? Built tough. Built for tough. A slaver. I mean, I don't mind slaves. Mutant instinct. Dum dums. Huh. Second generation training. First generation training. Children of the master. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to get here. I like this one, but we don't need Troll of the Warren. Meeting the wizard, though. Sailing along the FEV dumping grounds of Crater Lake, the first made their way to meet the mythical wizard. A hermit more than any other mutant, the wizard was tough to get too many answers from, eventually. When the first asked how we might bring about a new age for the super mutants, the wizard simply responded with one word. North. I need to go north? Sweet. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these guys. I would love Ice Jaw, but attack bonus gets a country... But, actually, Division Nutrition and Winter Nutrition goes way down. Less damage garrisons. I w hate that I can only choose three of these guys. Less supply consumption. I can imagine these guys taking up a lot of supply. Suppression's not bad. Supply, eh, it's actually not that bad. Hmm. We don't have to get less damage garrisons. We can get that later on. Let's go get more organization and such. Alright, so. Carcass Walkers. Uh, are you guys puppeted yet? They have a... Truce with the Washington... Okay, I don't remember seeing that one before, but okay. And before I kill them, I gotta make sure. Do they have a unique focus tree? No, they have a generic one. And how about you guys? Mineral Drinker... No, I played as Big Mama here. I... Big Mama Mesmeralda. I remember playing as her before. I have played as her once, yeah. Yep, I definitely have. That was a very short campaign. Give him a little more time. Uh, where are you going? Big Metal Mutants. Oh, wait. We need Heavy Melee Weapon. I think it. Alright, Mutant Canoes is not bad, but uh, not really necessary right now. Guardians of the Wild. Well, I think last time since I chose Bone Snarl and he's more of attacking, I might have went Warriors of the Wild. I think I want to go Guardians of the Wild, maybe. It is the duty of the Warren to protect the tribal lands of the North from the expansionist efforts of men. We have conquered these places and brought low the people who lived here within or with their own strength, and we shall defend what we have taken. Alright, so they shouldn't be able to attack us or kill us, but we'll see what happens. We should be able to do relatively okay. And actually, our breakthrough for power armor, or power armor, super mutants. Let's see. The breakthrough is 16. The defense is not bad, but... Obviously, these are going to have to be edited a little bit more as time goes on. We're going to have to get some basic planes, hopefully, as well, if, if that's allowable. And let's go ahead and start grabbing some of this. Yes. And it's 75 days, but let's go and grab that. Decryption is still useful. Good. Carcass Waste, which will be taken out soon enough. How many super mutants have perished? None. Versus 150 humans? Good. Guardians of the Wild. The bane of man. Mankind threw away its right to this world long ago when they bathed in hellfire and radiation. We are the spawn, the mightiest creation, and the greatest creation. Humanity has no right to our world, for now is the age of super mutants. Kill them off. Betty's doing a great job becoming a desert fox. Love it. Uh, you guys just go right there. Crush them. You go that direction. Just because you can. Anything else? We're about to get paid a little bit more. Not bad. Oh, actually. Promise of loot so we can get some more immediate weekly war support. That's not a bad idea since we can only really get that during wartime. So, uh, you, you guys done there? There you go. Thank you, Garcus Walkers. 
We will feast upon your caucuses. Now, if I remember correctly, this, the marrow drinkers were a little bit more difficult here than, uh, than, uh, the carcass walkers. Wasteland pacification will be nice. We got more than enough infantry equipment. It's time to bolster our forces. 20 combat width. Here we come. Nice. I learned a lesson learned. It takes some courage to convince the super mutants of the war to leave their cave, venturing out to the land of the exiles in the far north. The carcass wastes, as the smooth skins called them, littered with bones and the remnants of an old world dried dead by radiation. It is here, in the desolate lands, that the first finally realized what the wizard's true lesson was to him. The first answers of how to fix the plight of the super mutants wasn't literally the north, but that is merely where he would find the answer. The path of the super mutants is one of conquest. Why should the Warren hide in their caves when just a hundred years ago the super mutants were poised to hold this world by its throat? He convinced the super mutants to attack this place, why not the rest of Oregon? Soon, the first would return to the Warren, his heart beating like a drum as he searched for a war chief to bring along with him. Perhaps a good few arena bouts with some of the recent arrivals to the caves would reveal one who's worthy. Sometimes a trip outside is all it takes. Are you t is, it, is the game telling me to go outside? Because I, I, I probably should. <laughs> Alright, not bad. 1.47 still. And actually, before we go too much further, uh, again, scavenging program, we will do that. Do we have a... We need to take Arroyo... Or West Portland. Ooh. Or, oh, maybe, maybe we should try to beeline for Vault City. That might be the best thing to do. Or maybe not. We have 10 caps, so... Just because caps are gonna... Gonna be needed soon enough. Alright. So, like I said earlier, I've already chosen Bone Snarl. Since we went defensive... I say, can we get any more defensive? I would love to do the first, but... Uh, Betty's might. Planning. Pittsman. Betty, we're already using Betty. I guess we might as well use Betty. And, because why not? Betty fought the first to a near standstill with her superior training before eventually being overwhelmed by her by his sheer physical might. This fight, the closest that has ever been to a loss on the behalf of the first, is the word of the war. And already, the stories of Betty's might spread. Let's grab a lot of that. We're going to need way more infantry equipment as well, so let's grab with one. And actually, we're going to need way more than that. There you go. Not bad, not bad. And after Betty's might, the Warren stirs. The drums of war, created from the innumerable barrels that once contained the FVB that brought the war into life, echo through the hills. Even the most violent of the local tribals cower in their homes, feasting on what might be their last meal of human flesh. The Warren stirs, and from it comes a horde of hungry, hungry, not hippos, but mutants. Actually, what do we get from this? More weekly manpower and daily rule support for a year? It's not bad. The first's warband. Oh, we already are ruler. That's kind of nice. And more weekly map is pretty good too, but whatever. Anything else here? Military signing on bonuses would be nice, but obviously we can't do that. Uh, I don't want to hurt my money, so... The followers of the apocalypse? Oh, let them come. They'll only do good. It would be best to keep these iron anchors from the lands. They can't do that. Shoot them or something. Our people are so violent that we can simply scare them away, uh, even from approaching our lands. Replace followers spreading with followers apocalypse or rejected. I kind of want them to come in so we can eat them, but... Mm. Yeah, no, not here. Not here. So we get less stability, but more war support. So we're 92%, that's pretty good. 10% more mobilization speed is not bad. So after this, how are... Oh. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense why we can't actually get that, which is going to create some actual difficulties for this playthrough, probably. Oh, actually, who do we have for Chief of Army? Betty... Uh, so we already speaking. I should have realized this earlier, but you know what? If this is the only person we get, we might as well use it right now. More max planning. The more max planning that we have, the better. Oh, rooted would not be bad. Organization loss when moving wouldn't be bad, but you're a general, not a field marshal. Hmm. Entrenchment could be pretty darn good. So. And go with Nerd Rage. Because if you do a commanding officer trait, and even though it's technically a commanding officer, uh, it doesn't really matter. So, like, you, you want to be applied to a general, and they're in that position. So, it is what it is. Tender ribs. Uh, succulent marrow. Oh! That doesn't even have a, a, a description, huh? That is... Uh, I thought by this time they would actually have a description for this, but okay. Drinking the marrow. Well, we must have, We could read about that, but let's get tender ribs just so that we can... Uh, well, I guess we can't read that one either. So, at least we get a claim on the war goals for their stuff, but... I'm, I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting hungry here. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Ah, that's so good. More soft attack and breakthrough. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, maybe we could do this. 
We get more speed. We lose some stability. You know, whatever. We get more research speed. We get less entrenchment. Um, we do lose a plus 25 weekly manpower, which I kind of don't like. But that research speed is really hurting us. You know, it's not that. Oh, we actually have minus 10% attack. Yeah, we gotta move up. We gotta leave the caves. So now it should be a little bit slightly better in terms of research, which is totally fine. <gasps> more divisions. Yes, please. Especially when our guys are 20 combo with already. There we go. <clears throat> now eventually we gotta make these woods monsters a little thicker. Oh, they're four combat with each. Holy cow. Behemoth, there you go. Oh, what's going on? Uh, somebody plays them, the hand warband. Now it says you guys can't win, which is gonna make this a little bit more difficult. Succulent marrow, not bad. Tender ribs, we might as well do that one next. And we might as well just go to war immediately. Hopefully they attack us like crazy. And I knew they would. I knew it. I'm a little worried about these guys up here, so. You head on up north. See what you can do. Kill every single one of these enemies off. 26. I will force defense if we have to, so. 17 is not ideal. Work as needed is good. Uh, it's, it's looking a little better than it was earlier, but still not great. Infantry equipment. Let's grab some warrior training. 15. Well, if that's the case, we must hold the line. I'm pulling them early, too. There you go. I should die of seeds. We've lost 13 versus 182. Not bad. Technically, we did get less entrenchment. Because overall blues, I don't think it likes entrenchment nearly as much as other uh, mods. Yeah. Artisan hunting weapons. Well, let's make sure that they lose all their manpower first before we do anything else. These guys are getting attacked by a lot of different people. Betty, are you learning a lot? Hopefully. You're not really good on defense. You're really good at planning. That's alright. Conflict. Love it. Alright. Military spending bonuses, of course, would be nice, but... Actually, let's come over here, then. Let's get some more breakthrough and soft attacks. Screw it, we're going to go with that one. Get the armor down here. A song from the front. Warren forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. I think we're just going to grab some more war support. That'd be kind of nice. Tender ribs. Followed up with the realm of the Goliath. Long ago, the greatest warrior was known as Goliath, and it was he who brought the armies of a great nation to kneel before him. Only the intervention of the Almighty was enough to stay his hand. His aggression now, though, there's no Almighty left to save humanity from the Goliath, and many woe fall upon those who would attack his kingdom. And, so, slightly ahead of time. God, that sucks that we don't have planes. That really, really sucks in my mind. Oh, uh, what else do we have here? Can't even do automation, which makes a lot of sense. Nothing really here either. Oh, well, I guess we're going back to industry then. Construction. Maybe I went to war too early. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. But no matter, Betty is learning. Uh, learning a lot. Strong back is not bad. Well, they're not infantry, technically, are they? I mean, these guys aren't. They're not considered infantry, if I remember correctly. So, I don't want to do this. I might save it for a terrain trait, so... That's totally okay. Just juggle the guys around. Oh, that super mutants. I'm getting more support equipment, which is nice. They've lost probably over... Almost 800. Which is quite a bit less than I expected right now, but whatever. But it is giving us tons of XP. Oh, they're out of manpower. Tons of XP for us. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Well, maybe not that many tons. But enough tons. Pittman, what are you learning? At becoming a desert fox, that's good. Outside oh, this is going to help. And this one's going to help as well. Mutated endurance? Yes, please. One quick, simple pit stop down there. Let them wear themselves out on the line. Yes, we're losing quite a few super mutants, and we don't no longer get any weekly super mutants, but whatever. Well, we killed over a thousand of them. Good. Good. Keep attacking, you bunch of crazy humans. Keep attacking. At least we've got a little bit of warfare early on in this campaign. That's kind of nice. Are we still mobilizing? Oh, we are. That's nice. Wait, we don't... Slavery's outlawed. Wait, why? Why? 
Regardless, uh, we can do Call of Giants, Call of the Horde, Mobile, Mobile Mutation, way more infantry equipment and population versus, oh, oh no, Behemoth production cost minus thirty percent, experienced soldiers losses. Oh, that's so good. Oh no, who do I choose? Because I want to choose one right now. Behemoth cost. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mobile Mutation. Just because I like the population, first of all, uh, it's easier to make more uh, infantry equipment. But I don't want to do this one just because you can always like infantry equipment. You can always make more, but eventually there's going to become a point where we're going to make enough factories or have enough factories and resources where it doesn't really matter. Experience soldier losses would be really good, but five percent more population makes it a little easier for us. Call the horde. Mutant mutant kind is not as sparsely populated as our rivals would like to imagine. The master's army may have been scattered for far and wide, but it only takes a rumor or a whisperer to teach them of the place to call forth the horde that shall bring about humanity's demise. They really don't like living. Which is fine with us. Hmm. Encouraged weapons production is going to be bad. At this point, I believe it is time for us to strike out here and then there and, and try to circle two militia divisions. Of course, once they're done attacking and killing themselves on our line. 1,600 losses while 104 for us, not bad. And stonks, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, but Bull, maybe even bear. How is ooh seventy percent of the way there for desert fox already nice. Seventy one percent becoming hell spider as well. Tribe of the giants, good, good. Oh, look at all that equipment that we have. Now of course we gotta save some for gears and such, 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 such stuff. And. Actually, Relics of Control, Ritualized Cannibalism, Father's Influence, Mesmeralda, No Manpower, Stockpile. If we attack, they can't, they literally can't do anything else, so. Uh, we could try a general attack, but I don't think that'd be very fruitful for us. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. Very nice. Very good. Help out with the attack. Oh, we got enough uh, political power now, too. Just in case, let's go and do outside auxiliaries, because we would gladly welcome outside auxiliaries for, to aid us. And the call of the first. The first is the oldest of a kind. Born in the day following the war, an accident of nature, is destined to inherit the realm of mankind. Let his words echo throughout the wasteland. Let all who hear it, human, mutant, or ghoul, know that he has come for them. They may kneel, they may fall, but... All who care, hear the call of the first must answer. Even more division attack. I love it. And just in time for us to get more soldiers on the front. Yes, please. Crush those pesky, smooth skins. Actually, why don't you just go right there? Keep these guys in place while we get over there. Please, please, please move. There you go. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them now. Ooh, this guy is kind of it's kind of bubbly over here. Bubble, 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 bubble. All right, take them out. Take them all out. Anything else? Military sending bonuses. Uh, not too much. We did that money, so let's go and begin a scavenging program. Thank you. I might seriously need a new mouse here. Holy cow. Not bad. They move, they die, we enjoy it. And then we shall have one drastic frontal attack. Oh, and we're touching the Washington Brotherhood. Despicable, evil, disgusting. And are you almost there, son? Are you winning, son? Let's see if we can try this. We could force the attack that, but that just might not be the best thing or the best course of action. Color the festival. Wow, it's an, actually a 60 day focus. We do get 8% more attack, which is actually really, really nice. We're definitely going to need that for where we're headed, so. We're answered, we're annexed. I'm just a little saddened that we cannot get. Planes, or maybe ever, I don't know, but you just can't get planes. Uh, 
It, it makes sense why we can't, of course, but still. How about y'all just go to Ben Rally? How about you force the attack? And you guys go right here. Alvaran. Delightful. Call of the First and the Mobile Mutations. One of our lesser generals, a mutant known as Paeon Tuskhaw, has, or Hell, has made a name for himself by using Mobile Mutation on the front line. Rather than bringing the captives all the way back, he brings a small amount of FEV with him in canisters. Using it to dust soldiers, he fights on the battlefield into horrible, mutated freaks. His strategy works, perhaps we should promote him. Sounds good to me. Why not? Ah, uh, Betty, good. Cunning Desert Fox. I'd love to do that early, but let's not. Grab some resistors. That'll definitely help us out. Hey, Van Rally, thank you. Mellow drinkers have been crushed. Very good. Actually, it's 10 days to man. Kimmelt Station. That's last, it's been a while since I've actually played in Oregon. Kimmelt, Kimmelt Station, led by Akri. Oh, they don't have unique focus tree. I thought they did for some reason. Let's see. What do we have down here? Yeah, that'd be really nice. And we will get that one, but Monster in the Woods. Next time, remind me, next time I play as Troll Warren, that we need to do Monsters in the Woods. Please let me, please remind me about that next time I play as this nation. Support equipment, support equipment cost. Oh, we'll go with, grab that one, because that's always pretty tried and true to do. Even though we can't even build anything right now. Wow. Woodworking, not bad. Oh, look at workspaces, because that's always pretty good to do. You wanted to attack me. And yet now you don't. Curious. CG Hidden Valley. Oh, there goes Mojave Chapter. Good job, boys. And what's the next research done in 10 days? Nope. Mobile Mutation. And then Drinking the Succulent Marrow. The Marrow Drinkers were too weak to stand against us, but anyone within the Warren's Warrior cast should have told you this. They were like carrion birds, scavenging bones from the battles of others, drinking that which they could not openly earn. They broke easily and will remain broken. Actually, who do we have a war go against? Is it the Rip Breakers? Ah... Oh, it looks like we're going to be cracking some ribs. Nice. Oh, look at that Doris. Revered Elders. I'd love to play as a cause someday, but I think the devs might be actually working on that already. I know they had a poll a while ago at the time of this recording in which they were trying to develop a focus tree for them, so that actually sounds really interesting. Oh, boy. I could make these guys 40 combat with, but it probably wouldn't be worth it. I mean, the other special forces could grab some logistic companies just in case, but it doesn't really sound super worth it. Let's go ahead and have a good time. Force the attack. Force them down. Oh, look at these guys. They're doing, like, force attack 2 or last stand or whatever it is. Desperate defense. Look at that. Holy cow. And age your brothers and sisters. Bone Dancers offers a treaty. The Bone Dancers have offered us a rather lucrative treaty if we were to promise to not invade them. Then they are willing to give us a rather large sum of caps, resources, and manpower to compensate us. This is a great deal and would be silly not to accept. This is a killer deal. We will bypass our war focuses against Bone Dancers and Kimmelt Station. Not bad. We refuse. Now, hold on. I forgot about this. Tribal encampments expanding the Warn. Well, he met. They, we refuse. I kind of want more war, I'll be honest. Hmm. In the east, dominate the dancers? We get cores on them. Uh. If I wouldn't do them, then we do the west stuff for now. It would auto bypass everything here. Well, hmm. The bountiful coast, a worthy foe. The great hold. Hmm. If we accept it, we get more manpower, scrap, and a bunch more factories. We refuse. And we can always take them over later, right? Well, let's see. We went Betty. 
and she's good for planning. And planning-wise, this would be good for us to expand in other directions. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take the deal for now. Doesn't mean we won't go to war with them later on, but... And... We're trying to break the ribs, but we'll wait and do tribal encampments. Those tribes who have been broken under our boot are crawling to us. They're women, children, elderly, and they're feeble. They grow to live around the war in dense encampments that bring us wealth and a ready supply of slaves. Let's go and do outside battalions because we can. The soldiers are doing great. Some of them are even veterans. Ah, go and do that. Redo that. There you go. Betty is learning to become a hills fighter. Oh yeah, hills fighter. That'd be good. Yeah. Very strong so far. I love it. Get to see him. Mutated endurance. Let's grab some mutated strength mastery. Very good. The quicker we take out enemies, the better. You know, it's good. Do it again. It costs like thirty-two command power, but whatever. Cut them off if you can. Oh, they might just die before then. Alright, so we've lost about 18 guys. 18 super versus 54... 1,500 peoples. And, you know, I'm not even going to do that focus yet until we get Salem. They're, they're done. There they go. Breaking their ribs. The rib breakers have been our victims for decades. With our raids constantly claiming the bravest young warriors for mutation, even as we feast upon their weaker people. For far too long, we've allowed this tribe or this weak tribe to exist. They must be crushed. Followed up with probably expanding the war. With the newly conquered lands in tandem, we're no longer such a weak nation. Already many mutants are now able to leave the caves for the first time. And spread out across the fields and hills that we've attained. For many, it is good to see the sky again. Very good. So up next, I might just want to go to war with the Apostles. I'm not sure that's possible. Obviously we need to split off like one or two divisions here. One, two, three. The new mutant army, which is good. Bone Snarl. Oh, wait, we don't actually have to yet, because that's that's the uh, Marlarks. There you go. Now, bad is going to train our soldiers a little bit more as well. How is our caps? Hopefully, it's not really affecting us too much. Prioritize living standards. Well, we got two at the same time. Boom. Boom. I do that too. Breaking the ribs with expanding the Warren. Weakness in the north would be nice. Warhorns in the east. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. It probably auto bypasses anyways, so. Because we. Oh, I just. This, I elected to do the deal. Do the do. So after expanding the Warren. Warhorns in the west. Apostle Annihilation. I think that's fun. The horns that echo from the ruined lands of the Red Breakers. And marrow drinkers grow closer to the borders of even more tribes with each passing day. Yet these tribes are not as weak as, they la as the last one. They are proud warrior folk ready to do battle with all who stand against them. It's a whole 45 day focus though, which is quite a bit. Up next though, what else are we going to build? We're going to build right there maybe? That would be kind of nice. Oh, actually build right there first because we do get free cores. So Infrastructure, boom, 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 boom. And then everywhere else as well. Good. Mole divisions. Throw on mole... M super mutants. Not men. Super mutants. Yeah, we're gonna need more of this, too. That'd be kind of nice. It feels weird not being able to build planes. It feels very, very weird, to be honest with you guys. Incredibly weird. Behemoths are needed. And let's finish this episode with wool horns in the west, like I said earlier. Very good. A proud warrior folk. Ready to do battle. And we get more daily army XP, too. Which is really nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Oscar, we'll read one more and then we'll go ahead. Apostle Annihilation. Oh, I guess I'm not reading then. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will go to war with the Apostles and the Marlock tribes. Well, probably more like the Marlock tribes because the Apostles are now dead. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.